welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exam. So in this episode we are now looking at section B of the November 2022 science paper 1. The first of four episodes cover this section E uh, uh, extensively and we've also done a mathematics paper 1 and paper 2 just check on our YouTube channel we'll be able to find uh, extensive answers to uh, the questions. So uh, let us uh, look at uh, this section extensively. Now you notice that this section carries uh, 45 marks out of uh, the 85 marks in uh, this uh, paper. Then you are expected to answer all questions in this section and there are 9 questions. So this is uh, one of the most important sections in this paper that you need to uh, prepare and revise as much as possible. Remember uh, your success depends on your effort and your effort means you need to revise extensively and we are here to help you that's why we are explained to you in detail to give you uh, basically logic behind each and every answer so let us look at question b1 figure b1.1 shows part of a micrometer screw gauge question a loma numero one what is the reading on the micrometer screw gauge so what is our question so the question is uh, basically for us uh, to give the reading on the micrometer screw uh, gauge. So now when you look at uh, a micrometer screw gauge, it's got uh, two key scales. Uh, this uh, scale that you are seeing here, this scale, this, this is uh, basically uh, the main scale that you need to know. Then of course also this scale, this reading that you are seeing here, this is uh, basically uh, what is known as uh, the circular uh, scale. So basically while I'll be answering this question, I'll be uh, referring to uh, these two scales. Now uh, just uh, to emphasize, uh, basically you have this in case you ask to uh, label this, this is uh, known as uh, basically uh, the sleeve, okay, the sleeve of uh, this uh, scale. Then uh, basically all this part, this area or this area is known as uh, basically as uh, the thimble. So uh, when we are getting the reading on the micrometer screw gauge, we need to look for two things. The reading on the main scale. Now the reading on the main scale is given in uh, basically millimeters but as a O number. So what you come here, you look at it, this uh, last value. So this last value is 20, there is nothing after here the marking. So on the main uh, scale, I'll call it MS. We have basically 20 uh, millimeter. Now this 20 millimeter is the same as basically 20 point uh, zero zero millimeter. That's the same. So take note of that. This is the same, except that we have two zeros after the decimal place. Then um, next we have on the circular scale, which I shall call a C. S. So at uh, the reading on the uh, CS is now you need to look for where uh, basically this line, this leading is basically uh, crossing with this line, exactly this point. So you see in this case you see 30. So now this 30 is not in millimeter but it is now 0 0.30 then millimeter. That was the purpose of me introducing this to you. So that when you start adding these two, it becomes easier for you. So now this point is just to add these two. So what we are going to get is basically it will be a 20.00 plus 0.30 like this. Then we add this. We are going to get a basically a 30. Then pointing this side. Then this side. So we are going to get 20 pointing. 3 millimeter as in uh, basically the reading on the scale. So you add this two part, which is uh, basically the main scale and the circular scale. Once you add those two, uh, basically you get the reading. Take note that uh, the reading from uh, the main scale is uh, basically uh, in millimeter. Take it as uh, a whole number or that number 0 0.00. Then the reading on the circular uh, scale, which is this, 
is now 0 0.30 that number so if it was crossing at 35 it was going to be 0 0.35 then this you add it to this reading on the main scale then once you do that you are good to go uh, let us uh, look at Loman numeral 2 state one use of micrometer screw gauge so in this case you just are uh, stating the use and uh, basically we know uh, the main use of uh, these uh, instruments that we use uh, to measure different kind of length so uh, in this case uh, the micrometer screw gauge is uh, basically used uh, to uh, measure the diameter of thin objects such as uh, wires uh, the thickness of a uh, small sheets uh, such as it could be by laser, laser blades a uh, grass or uh, basically plastics so these are some of the things that you can use to um, measure using a micrometer screw gauge so basically uh, this is uh, the use of a micrometer screw gauge so basically uh, this is how you answer this question in detail to uh, get uh, these uh, marks thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this video to be helpful please uh, consider liking and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic